Hi, I'm Coach Beer from Hardball Academy. Today's topic is over a pitcher's lower half efficiency. This is one of the most misunderstood, one of the most mistaught areas in all of pitching. One of the most common misteachings that promotes poor lower half efficiency with pitchers is telling the pitcher to push off the rubber. When coaches tell pitchers to push off the rubber, several negative things happen. First, when you tell a pitcher to push off the rubber, he will have to get more flexion in his back leg in order to try to get extension. In doing this, he will take all of his momentum and sit right down over the top of the rubber. When a pitcher does this, it's gonna kill his momentum and it's gonna hurt his balance transfer as well. Many people believe that you can't push down a hill. You can push up a hill, but you can't push down a hill. Also, we know what we see through practical experience that pitchers, when they go into foot strike, we see back legs flexed. And we don't see back legs extended. If the pitcher were to push off the rubber, we would more likely see that movement right there. Another common major misteach is when we teach pitchers to go from a tuck position to a two and a half position, then to the plate. Problems associated with this include, number one, we take the knee straight down, we keep our weight back over the rubber, then we go toward the plate. So all of our momentum is staying back, and coaches use those terms, stay back, stay over the rubber, then go forward. In turn, that momentum is killed, and we can't transfer it toward home plate. Also, sometimes tempos are interrupted. When we take the knee straight down, then go forward. We'll see a tempo have a hitch in it, maybe a, a stop and a start. And in turn, we kill our tempo, kill momentum, kill our alignment, kill our fastball. Coaches teach stay back over the rubber, sit back over the rubber, simply because they're concerned with static balance positions. Balance position here, balance position here. However, pitching, we use dynamic balance. Dynamic means with the entire movement. So it doesn't matter if I'm balanced here or here. I have to be balanced through my entire movement, staying on my center of gravity. The way that we want to teach pitchers to have good lower half efficiency is first of all, we want to teach them to take the knee down the pyramid or down the slope of the mound instead of straight down. Also, we would like to teach pitchers to take the back knee and we're going to inside load on it, forcing all the weight to the inside of the foot, taking the knee toward the plate, not straight down. Also, we want to teach a pitcher, instead of setting back over the rubber, actually as the knee's getting to its highest point, my hips are already going toward the plate, staying on my dynamic balance, of course, delivering all my momentum, all my tempo toward the plate. If you have any questions or comments, please email us at info at hardballacademy.com or you can check out our website www.hardballacademy.com. Also look for our next segment on young pitchers throwing curveballs.